everybody! Today I'm going to be creating this art journal page using the supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired subscription. I'm starting a little different today by doing my stamping first, and I'm going to be stamping the loop and stamp with permanent archival ink onto some tissue paper. I'm doing this for a couple different reasons. One, stamping directly into your journal can be quite challenging to get a perfect stamped image. By doing it on tissue, you remove that issue. And two, I want to be able to have the flower facing different directions. And because you can use both sides of the tissue, I'm able to change the look and feel of the stamp really easy with tissue paper. After giving the ink a chance to dry, I'm going to cut apart my stamped images with my Fiskar micro snip scissors. So cutting away the extra tissue and also separating some of the elements of the stamp so that I can actually collage them back together in a more interesting way versus two straight lines like the original stamp. I'm gluing this all in my Dina Weekly Media 6x6 art journal with Dina Weekly Media gel medium and a Finnabar silicone brush. Now, the Finnabar silicone brush is my favorite thing to use when I'm working with tissues and gel medium as it helps keep everything smooth and prevents wrinkles, which is huge. After I have my two original flowers placed down, I'm just going in with some more of the elements that I cut out from my original stamping. So you can see here are some of the diamonds that were part of the original stamping and I've just cut them apart with my scissors and now I'm gluing them in on the right side just to add more of that pattern there. And really the whole point of this is that I didn't want it to be two straight lines. I wanted it to look a little bit more natural and organic and like this just showed up in a you know pattern on the background instead of it being clearly just stamping. So I'm also doing the exact same thing with some of the text that I cut apart from the original stamping. And when I'm done and I'm happy with everything, I'm going to go over this entire piece with more gel medium on a palette knife. And that's just to keep everything in the background the same. So when I go over with paints and stuff later, I'm not gonna have different absorbencies. It's all gonna be sealed with this gel medium. Now it's time to start adding some color. So I'm going to be using Dina Weekly Media Gloss Spray. And so the color you see here is Sage. I'm taking it out of the bottle using a pipette and then quickly rinsing that same pipette in a jar of water because gloss sprays are acrylic and permanent. I didn't want to end up not being able to use my pipette later. So I'm using a paintbrush to put down the Sage Gloss Spray and I've put it in the diamond patterns and then along the outside. And some of the outside I didn't have quite as much on my brush, so it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to be doing the exact same technique with the Orchid Gloss Spray, coloring in all of the lupin flower petals. Even though Gloss Spray is technically a spray, you can use them just like you could any other paints because they are acrylic based. So I'm now going back through the middle of the page using very, very little sage gloss spray. You can actually see I'm smudging it out with my fingers because I want the center of the page to be much lighter, but I don't want it to be completely stark white either. After I've given everything plenty of time to dry because I did not want to end up damaging my pen. So this is 100% dry. I'm going in with my black Fude Ball pen and I'm outlining all of the flower petals. And this is just to give them a little bit more pop and to kind of also blend in with the bold black lines around the rest of the page. To finish off the page, I'm grabbing a sheet of 49 and Market Naturalist stickers, and I'm combining two different title stickers and one of the hearts. And these are slightly enameled shiny stickers, so they're the perfect finishing touch to my page. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired today and got ideas to use in your own projects. I would love to see what you're working on, so take us on social media with hashtag Art Journal Junction. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button to let YouTube know you want to see more of these kind of videos in the future.